say that so energetically and different every Monday. This yeah. is the great thing about Michelle is that she takes the more difficult line because she can make it sound different and interesting whereas I would just sound kind of flat every Listen, I think you could do it. It's really not that hard. It's uh, one line. I don't know. I think we'll leave that to you. Hey, well I appreciate that. Anyway, did you do anything fun this weekend? This weekend I did a lot of relaxing. That's and good. by I say relaxing, I mean a honey to-do list. But um, <laughs> I, I, I got it all done. But I am doing something fun today. I'm going golfing. Really? Yep, I'm taking some customers golfing nice. after uh, we do uh, our morning show this morning. It's a beautiful day, kind of a hobby of mine. Really? Really. Well, my hobby's shopping. Is shopping really a hobby? It really is a hobby, especially when you're shopping for deals. Ladies out there, come on, isn't shopping a hobby? <laughs> Yes, it is. Shopping is definitely a hobby. And you know what? It makes you feel good, too. Well, I'll tell you what. While you're shopping, I'll be out on the golf course relaxing. Not, not playing very well, because I never do. Um, <laughs> letting, always letting the customer win. You have to do that. Very important. Yeah, well, that's because you're not that great. I mean, let's face that, it. That's an accurate statement. <laughs> Our guest today is an amazing hobbyist and does this thing called like side by siding. Have you ever heard of it? I've never heard of it, but it sounds really? like a lot of fun. I thought you would have heard of it. It's really cool. It's like this thing where you sit side by side with someone in this like roll cage. So it's like a go kart. No, it's like a doom buggy kind of well, thing. Well, doom buggy's kind of a go kart. I think we just need to find out more about this side by side. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And you know what? I think you should really learn about it because I think it's a really cool thing for you to do. But anyway, we have Craig Arthur today. From Arco Protection Systems right here in Poughkeepsie, yes. New York. Been in business since 1994. Really excited to learn more about him and his business. Come on out, Craig. Yes, here he is, Craig. Okay. Pleasure. Okay. Thank you Craig, so have you. Have much. Yes, please have a seat. We are so happy to have you. Heard about uh, side by side, and can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, my uh, family and I we go down to uh, Hatfield and McCoy sy uh, trail system in West Virginia, and um, we trailer three of them down each. Uh, we pair off into twos. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's it's really cool. What does it look like? Like, how do you describe this vehicle? It's uh, it's like a go kart, no? Uh, go kart on steroids. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Big dirt tires. It's full roll cage with doors, yeah. windshield, and lights, and so on. He showed me pictures. It's pretty cool. It sounds like a lot of fun, and I know off camera we were talking a little bit about snowmobiling, so that's your winter activity. Yeah, we uh, snowmobiling, you know, anything really but an engine. Yeah, you we're, know. We're, we're into, so. When we were talking about filming this, and I said, uh, Craig, what do you want to do? Something fun. He's like, let's roll around the dirt. <laughs> you know, and I didn't know what you were talking about. You said, let's go racing or do something like yeah. that, but, you know, that we will certainly have to do that at some point. Absolutely. Yeah, I Absolutely. think that'd be good, a, a race between the two of you. <laughs> Doom buggy race or no what is it side, side by, by side. side sorry so we'll check it out later when we get home so so fire protection systems and you know that's the business you're in how, how did you get started there um, I started locally in, in uh, Poughkeepsie uh, installing fire alarm okay. and, and uh, burglar alarm systems in residential and uh, wanted to specialize more into the fire uh, industry and uh, started uh, working down the city, joined local three electrical union, okay. did the fire alarm thing. How was Good that? experience there. I yeah. mean, that's... Yeah, uh, it's, it's quite the experience. Biggest now. buildings in the world, for sure. Worked in all the big buildings in the city and, and learned all new technologies. And That's uh, good experience for, you know, definitely bringing it back to the valley for sure. Yeah. And then we married, actually, the detection with the suppression end of it. Interesting. So we, we specialize in a lot of the data center market where you can't use water to put fires out. So um, that that's seems that's to be our niche market. That's an interesting market. It's a special chemical, you were saying, right, that, that's needed? Yeah. In the olden days, it was called halon. They found out that burned a hole in the ozone. So they started yeah. to use these uh, agents called clean agents. Uh, so we service and install uh, up and down the East Coast these okay. these systems in the hosting and data center market. Well, that's a big market. So you're all, you're all up and down the East Coast. Yes. That's fantastic. Yeah. Wow, unbelievable. Tell us more about Arco. How did uh, tell us about the uh, building that you renovated? Uh, about four years ago, we purchased from the city of Poughkeepsie the OH Booth uh, Hose Company Firehouse on Main Street. Uh, it was built in 1907 as a firehouse. Uh, it took us three years to renovate, and wow. we moved our operations up there. Uh, we wanted to bring it back to that 1907 look as close as possible, but still have the modern infrastructure uh, for data and, and so on and so forth. It so is unbelievable. Perfect facility for the type of business, business yeah. you're in as well, too. It's, you know, it's 
can't, can't, yeah. can't find a better building for that, right? Yeah. Exactly. This, the, the firehouse doors are still there. There's yeah. a huge bay window and the exposed brick and the history and the pole. We have yeah. to talk about yeah. the pole. He keeps talking about the fire pole yeah. and that's been restored. And now, do you actually slide down the fire pole? Uh, we, uh, we had to put safety mechanisms around it so the staff doesn't slide down the pole. Exactly. Anymore. But you know what? That pole, it's, it's a pretty hefty pole. I didn't realize it was such a big. Well, you have a big fireman jumping on it yeah. to slide 15, 20 it's feet down. It's really so. long. Like, it's huge. It's unbelievable. <laughs> so, um, yeah, how'd you get started with, um, with the uh, building and, and Poughkeepsie, and how'd you get placed there? Tell um, us more. Well, we were based out of Wappingers. Okay. Uh, we were looking for special credentials, mm -hmm. uh, hub zone, uh, which is historically underutilized business zone. Uh, the city of Poughkeepsie is actually categorized as a federal hub zone. So we were pursuing that credential, and to do that, one of the uh, requirements was to actually be based in the hub zone. Okay. So um, that was the reason why we were looking for space in, in the city. Uh, we stumbled on the firehouse. It was going out for bid for sale, and um, we scrambled a week before the bid date and um, put our bid in, and, and we were successful at uh, securing the firehouse. It was pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. That's fantastic. You know what? That is very interesting. I have to say, we absolutely love that uh, you're a part of the Rhinebeck family, for sure. And uh, you're a near and dear friend to us. So thank you so much for coming on and, no and sharing your experiences with us. Thanks a lot. I think Michelle has something in plan for you. I here. do. I have something planned. It's actually, um, I want to put your fire protection services to the test. It's important that the community understands that you know your stuff. Yeah, okay. seriously. But you have to promise me, during this game, it's only between you two. I don't want to be involved. Oh, All right. sure. So I have some questions. And Mark, come on. We, we're we're going to make it a little bit more interesting yeah. here. So <laughs> this, this, is, this is my fire protective or protection system here. Um, a super soaker, huh? <laughs> I have some questions for you. And we're going to put your fire knowledge to the test, like I said. So if you get the question wrong, guess what? You get soaked. If you get it right, you can soak him. Okay. All right, and vice versa. <laughs> and I don't want to get wet here, people. I gotta try to not get wet too. Well, actually, no. What? Hang on. I am going to the golf course, so I can change. Yeah, you stuff. can get him wet. Don't worry about it. All right, are you guys ready? So here, here. Put your hands over your bells, and uh, whoever rings the bell first gets the opportunity to answer the question. All right, got the game, guys. Come on, audience. Who are you rooting yeah, for? Yeah, come on. <laughs> I think Craig's got it, but I don't know. Mark might pull through. We'll see. All right, so what famous bear said only you can prevent a forest fire? Craig got it. Smokey the bear. Yes! Shoot him! Go for it. Go for it. Oh. Uh, that was a good one. That was a good one. All right. What that is the number one. one cause? Hands on the bell. What's the number one cause of household fire? Whoa, that was, that, that was, was I wanted to make sure that I got the bell that time. Cooking. Cooking is, oh my God. I think I got you, little baby show. You did. What, what is a common household, what a common household item should be used to put out grease fires? That was an early ring, but go ahead. I heard grease. You know, grease, you know, fire. grease fires, baking soda. Yeah, get Mark. Oh. An unfair line of questioning. I thought you guys would be shooting for the face. What's up here? Um, what's the historic fire in Poughkeepsie? What's the historic fire that took place in Poughkeepsie over 40 years oh. ago? Train bridge. Oh my gosh, we need to do a tiebreaker. <laughs> You got wet on that one. I did get wet. It's not right. I have makeup on, you know. <laughs> all right, one more and this is it. This is for the deal breaker. Tie breaker, all right? And if you win, I got a little prize for you. So put your hands on the bells, guys. Come on. What, when, wait, hold on a second. When on fire, what common technique would put the fire out? Oh, oh. Stop, drop, and roll. Yeah. And I know that one too. Stop, drop, and roll. Oh, man. Awesome. That was a lot of fun. Good. We got a, yeah, we, have, we have a gift for you, yeah. Craig. Thanks so much for coming on and being a sport. Was it was great. And wake up Ryan Beck Mug for being a sport. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. That was so much. And it was great to learn a little bit more about yeah. you and your business. Absolutely. And you guys, I can't even look at yeah. you without laughing. I might not want to go outside. <laughs> Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Take care. It's a hot day out there, so this is fantastic. Yes. Thanks, Thanks so much, Craig. Appreciate it. Pleasure. Thanks so much to Craig Arco. He was a great guest today. It was so interesting learning about some of his hobbies, the side-by-siding, but also learning about the business. Definitely. Unbelievable guest, and he did get wet, and so did Mark. And so, so. did I, apparently. <laughs>
<laughs> it was a really great time. You can check us out next Monday at wakeupbrownbeck.com or on HVNN. And check us out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. You know where to find us. We'll see you next week. Thanks so much. See you next Monday. Bye. Yeah.